Athens, New York. I was heading down to uh, Kingston, and I went to Catskill and I had a headlight out. I was pulled over and a traffic stop that took over 45 minutes uh, resulted in my being arrested by, um, at that time, Roger Massey, who was chief of Athens and also the chief of the village of Catskill. When I was stopped, I advised the officer that I had a loaded weapon on my, on my possession and I had my ID in my pocket. So he instructed me to show my ID, which I did. And when I pulled out my wallet, it had a felt cover over a commemorative badge. Mm -hmm. And he said, are you on the job? And I said, no, I'm former chief of police of the village of Athens. And so when I, uh, he asked to see the badge, which I showed him. And he went back to his car and he came back and he asked if I knew Roger Massey. And I said, yes, I do. And I said, Roger has sort of a hard on for me. And uh, I said, he doesn't like the fact that I carry a badge. He told me, uh, Roger asked me to ask you if you will surrender the badge. And I told him no. I surrendered my permit mm -hmm. as I was ordered, and I surrendered my weapon, my, my weapons as I was ordered. Mm -hmm. And I was called back, and they, they said I failed to adhere to the court order by failing to submit my duplicate pistol permit. They thought I had kept the duplicate, a non-existing duplicate, so I could carry a pistol. Right. And I kept insisting there is no duplicate. Right. And I turned back the not only the original permit, but the amended permit with the additional pistols. When, when I went to court for that hearing, I was actually presented with a copy of a permit, which was supposed to be bearing my signature, which was not my signature. And Mr. Chaika asked me three times if that were my signature, and three times I said no. And then I followed up with a complaint to, or actually a, a filed a complaint with the Sheriff's Department for forgery, because at that point in time it was forgery, right. and over government documents. So I then received a letter, as indicated on July 18th, from Under Sheriff Dorsch, and said that he investigated the, the matter and Ms. Bennett admitted to signing my name to it. And when you presented that to Judge Shank, it was to no avail. To this day, I still stood up, returning my permit or my weapons. And I actually called for the, uh, when I paid for the transcripts, and I got the transcripts back, the transcripts were lacking that entire section of the three denials that when Mr. Tucker asked me if that were my name on, on the amended permit, or on the duplicate permit, and I said no three times, that was not even in the transcripts. So the, the transcripts were falsified, and, and the, the fact that why I was brought there for a duplicate permit was never even brought up as far as why, why I, my discipline was revoked.